<clears throat> the morning we've all been waiting for. How y'all doing today? What's going on today? Sure, we about to get into this conversation. So yes, 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 we about to have this conversation today. Much awaited, much needed conversation. I know you guys have seen me um comment on. Some of um, some interviews that Akon has done lately. So um, he reached out. He wrote on the post said, "You know, I think we should go live about this." You know, because he wasn't ashamed to speak about it. And I said, "Okay." You know, I reached, uh, accepted. His request, so now I'm just waiting for him now. He said he would be ready at 7, so <clears throat> I'm waiting for him now. But yeah, you know, this is a much needed conversation, man. Just trying to get some clarity, man. You know, I think, I think, I think for the most part, we all want to get some clarity, you know. I think we, um, we've all are fans, pretty much fans of, of, um, of Akon. I'm just trying to figure out. If y'all know where you at, tell them to send me a request <clears throat> so we can get this on. You know, so just waiting for them to tune in. This should be a very interesting conversation to say the least. Very informative. I think a lot of us, you know, really want to know what, um, what is Akon's point of view, like real perspective, because you just get an interview. So I think us, Trey, what up? Shout out to my brother Trey. Trey the truth, man. We working on an album right now. That's crazy. As soon as I finish this live, we going to knock out about five songs. But um, yeah, I think we really just trying to figure out Khan's point of view. Okay, there you go, he's here. Let's get ready. Just sent them a request to add on. Did you send it to him? I hate. I hate Instagram sometimes. Trying to hate on my what the fuck is going on? It's not letting me accept. I'm trying to figure out why not. It will not let me request nothing. Let me do everything but accept the request. Tre tell somebody tell Akon to, to write something on the page so I can accept it that way. Because it won't let me do it. Akon, write something on the page so I can accept you that way. Because it will not let me get to the request. Is let me do everything 
but even view the request. Write something on the screen so I can accept you that way. Okay. There you go. This might work. Oh. There you go. This might work. I see you got it together. Yeah, <laughs> man. You know, I think, you know, they were trying to hate on us. <laughs> How you doing today, brother? First and foremost. How you feeling today? Oh, I'm sorry, my brother. Yeah, I'm feeling amazing, man. Okay, well, you know, I just just want to make sure that you're all right, man. You know, I just want to, because yeah. even though I don't agree with you, I definitely respect you as a, as an individual. No, 1,000%. I respect the work you've been doing, you know, and you got some of my, my, my favorite songs that, you know, that I probably, you know, I don't know if you remember, or if you know even Gabby told you when you first did the Locked Up song, Gabby, because Gabby's from my hood. Right. You know, and um, Gabby reached out to me when I was locked up. I was in Sing Sing. And Gabby was like, yo, I want you to get on this song. Like, I don't know. You, I don't know if you, you know Akon. I was like, I ain't here. I was, you know, I was already in my bid probably like two years by that time. Right. And he had sent me the beat and everything. I actually wrote, I actually wrote to it. And was try, I was trying to send it out, but I couldn't record it inside the cell. So I tried to do it over the phone. And then like probably a couple of weeks later, you had already had styles on it because he wanted he wanted me to do it and he was gonna try to present it to you. So now that, it definitely was possible because we was all working from different angles at that time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But enough. Everything though, my son, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate your your opinion. I think mm -hmm. what we in a lot of ways is always times communication because you know when you when when people are, are having conversations, it's one thing, but when they're hearing conversations, everybody interpret interpret conversation different. You know what I'm saying? And I think there's a difference in cultures and not all that, but it's a big difference in generation. And I think what a lot of generation is missing is people like myself, like yourself, but not from a critiquing standpoint, but more from an information standpoint. Because what I started to realize is I got back, right? Because I was in Africa for the last seven years, I think. I got, you know, okay. I, was, I was moving, I was away from music. I was more working on the Afrobeat scene on that side you know, mentoring kids over there, giving them, the, you know, the tools they need to kind of, you know, get the Afrobeat scene moving. And when I came back, the hip hop scene was totally different. Mm -hmm. the, the, the morale of the kids here was totally different. The sound of it was totally different. And I realized that my generation music or my generation hip hop was slowly like diversifying into business, right? And stepping a little bit away from the, from the music side of it but this generation had attached themselves to something far more greater than we ever had, and that was digital platforms. And mm -hmm. I think there's a lot that's happening, and I think me and you will have plenty of time to discuss it throughout this whole time that we got, because like I told you, once I was available for you, I'm going to give you all the time you need, so that way that, both perspectives is clear. You feel me? That, 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 that is beautiful, and I appreciate that, man. And uh, that, that brings me to, to, to one of my main issues. When you say more rap, right what is does that mean morality of music does it just the, the energy is different because for me right i think the issue is for me when i listen to you on on numerous interviews i didn't just listen to one you know i heard i heard the interview you did well now which who i now know is your sister i heard the interview that you um that you did on the, the show they actually reached out to me i was supposed to do an interview with them today but I was running around. I'm actually in Kentucky. Wait, before we start this, let me say, arrest the cops that killed Breonna Taylor. You know, I just make sure we understand. Nah. I'm in Kentucky right now. We're planning, planning major action. So I just want to make sure, even though we have a conversations about hip hop and all, that's pretty much the most important thing in my life right now is getting justice for Breonna Taylor. So I just wanted to make sure I stated that off the rip. But, um, you know, so I watched all of these interviews that you had and and for me, it seems as if you've made a conscious decision to abandon integrity and morality for business. Or you, 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 are you, are you okay? You made, that's what, this is what it sounds like. You saying, you, you, you. It depends on the person hearing it and what okay. their, or what their uh, translation of those words mean. So now, just so you know, I've always played from the moment I walked in, I played the neutral position. I don't play either side. 
I don't what is say Shotty and his crew was innocent or guilty. I don't say Takashi was innocent or guilty, right? So my side. I really because when you you aren't you because you 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 made a decision that what he did is okay based on what you saying they did. So you you've already if you if you saying you don't play either side and you say yo but they did this and that and they did this so fuck that I'm gonna do this so that means that you've made a decision that you believe that they did something wrong to him and he's justified so you took a side. See that, that this is the part it wasn't a matter of who did right or who did wrong. It was the principle of the whole action in itself. All right, prime example. But even if no, it's with the, I, I'm going to get I'm going to let you finish, but you have to be clear. If you're saying the action in itself, that means that you believe that the action that they did was wrong. What action in itself? You said the action in itself. I, if you're saying when, that you that what they did when, is wrong, then you took in a... Or his, or his, or his, um, his co-defendants. Say that so again? There's two actions here. You got okay. Takashi's action, and then you got his co-defendant's action. Okay. Which, which action are you talking about? Uh, first, because they're going to both be a topic. Okay, so tell me which action you would like to speak about first. The action I was talking about was in general. We was, cause this well, you can't say in general. There, there has to be an action. What, it, yeah, so... You just... You gave me two different actions. So it, when it, you say in general, with, what... No, what I'm saying is it has to start with a general conversation, right? Once you have that general conversation, then there's partitions of the conversation that we have to break it down one by one. Once we break it all down, then you will understand exactly my point. You follow what I'm saying? Okay. Because any so-called real nigga or real gangster for that matter will understand exactly what I'm talking about. So let's say hypothetically, this is the situation. Let me give you a scenario and let's start with that scenario. Okay. Why is Takashi so important right now? Do you think that this situation is so? Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the thing is, when you talk, I, I, I can't hear you when, you when when I'm talking at the same time. So I'm I'm, I'm just gonna stop and let, allow you to say something. So you just asked the question, so I was trying to respond to the question. You said why is okay. Takashi? Why is Takashi so important? And I said I don't believe he is. You have to ask certain people. And I think you'll get different answers from certain people. Some people don't think he's important at all. I, 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 would, I would disagree with that because the numbers say opposite. And I think this is probably the most talked about situation in music history when it comes to hip hop music. And I'm, I was just curious to understand why Takashi and not any other rapper that's been in a situation like this. Can, can, you, can you name another rapper that's been in a situation like this? I mean, we all been in conflicts. We all been in shootouts. We all been in robberies. We've been we all been in crime related incidents. And me naming other rappers that's been in specific situations like Takashi ain't really my place to say that. But what I would like to say though is, if Takashi is the conversation right now, there has to be a reason why it's so potent and why it's so important and why everybody's so emotional about it, right? So in your I can respect everything you said, mm -hmm. and you are right. Because you came from a generation that lived by that exact code that you're talking about. Mm -hmm. I get it. And I'm with you. I promise you on everything God knows, all I know is I'm with you when you say the things you said in the way you believe it. Now me, I've grown since that time that I sat and wore the shoes you're wearing today. And what I realized is that it's a bigger, bigger picture than just telling or what we call snitching mm -hmm. when you look at six nine and you might disagree when i tell you this i feel that he's being victimized right now right and the reason why i say that is we're expecting him to understand codes that he never lived under we're expecting him to live by a code that he never ever was a part of in the first place we're expecting him to understand the rules of engagement in the streets when he's not a street guy. We're expecting him to follow all the rules of the things that the people around him should have brought to his attention or should have taught him before he got into it. Now, clearly he's an entertainer. He gonna say all kind of reckless shit. He's doing it right now, right? But what entertainer you know ain't gonna do that. 50 Cent did that same shit Takashi doing 10 years ago. But see, that, right? that's, 
as far as I'm talking about being antagonizing. Can I say something? What I want, and I hear what you're saying. I don't, because I don't want to cut. I don't want to cut you off because it, it lags in and out. But there are a couple of things that I would like to respond to. First, Fifty Cent was actually a street nigga. Fifty no. Cent was. No, listen to what I'm. No, so you've been giving examples, right? And I've been mm -hmm. listening to you examples about people that did what he's doing, and you and you, and you compare him, like you said, yo, like you was talking about gang culture. You said gang culture is gonna attract gang people. You know, when Game came out, he was for gangbangers. Game was Game was a gangbanger. When Snoop right. came, out, he was a gang, right. he was a gangbanger. You I said when, when NWA. Let me just let me just say let, let right, me finish. Right, 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 just on that part. And the reason why I understand you and I know why you feel like that, because you're a rapper yourself, and you are also a street nigga. We all know. I know your history, my nigga. You're a real street nigga. You didn't did your time. You did what you had to do. And you lived and you took hip hop from a standpoint of your real life situations. Hip hop was not only a vehicle for you, but it was a lifestyle to you. So I know why you feel that way. This generation, this hip hop ain't no lifestyle for them, bro. They don't know about half the shit. Most of the people that's talking street ain't never been in the street. Most of them ain't real street niggas. So we can't categorize them to be one. But that's, that's what I'm trying to explain to you, right? If you go outside, right, and you right. take a gun in the bank, and, and you say, yo, and you ain't a bank robber, mm -hmm. right? You're right. going to jail, Akon. They don't give yeah. a fuck. They don't listen to what I'm going to tell you. Look, I'm not going to ask you, yo, are you really a bank robber? Like, who did you learn how to rob banks? You get, you, it's the same rules apply. If you jump into, if you jump, listen to me, if you, if you can't fight, right? And right. you jump in the ring with a nigga who can fight real good, and you throw right. on gloves, he going to beat the shit out of you. Nobody is. <laughs> Nobody's gonna say, yo, how many lot have you practiced? Are you really a boxer? What I'm trying to explain to you, you this man jumped into a field, right? And mm -hmm. he did he did all the shit that the real gangster niggas do. They call, they call you out, they say, I'm gonna come to your block, I'm gonna do this to you, I'm gonna do that. He called out everybody, he told niggas to suck his dick. He said, when men sat him down respectfully and said, Yo, brother, you bugging out. You, Char I watched the interview. Charlemagne said, "Yo, you gonna die or go to jail, beloved? Like you putting yourself in." Re and he said, "Fuck that! I'm street. I'm this nigga. I'm gonna handle this, and I'm gonna do this." He had niggas shooting, keep keeping these niggas. These niggas is body. They catching bodies in Chicago. They not playing. He going to Chicago in the middle of the street. He not only putting his life in jeopardy. He put everybody who went with him, like, and they knew he was. But they still. And this is what this is for me, right? When they say that they was these people stood and protected him against real street niggas that they know probably would have took their life and stood up beside of that man. Bro, stood. if they, they was protecting him, Bullet. but what I'm saying is if they was protecting him, first of all, he wouldn't have got that close to the street. Real street niggas know the fucking, they, they know the, nigga, they know the consequences of what that is. So if you're protecting him, you ain't gonna have him that close to the street, period. And the part I think, honestly, that I think the world is missing and specifically this conversation, is that this is entertainment. In real life, we're not going to rob no bank because we know we're going to goddamn get caught. Yo, and we, I, no, no, hold on. I'll let you talk now. I ain't stop you. When you said the bank robber thing, you're right. But that's in real life, bro. This is fake. This is entertainment. This is not real. We are in the music business. Yo, Con, you can, Con, can I ask you a question? But this is what I'm saying. This is interesting. Nigga, we in here to make money, get rich, and die. We're not in here to get killed early before we get to the back. Who does real things on real life and social media on TV for everybody to see? Who does that, my son? What I'm trying to explain to you, right? I just Because <laughs> to me, like, so listen to me. If Based on what you're saying, right, Takashi should have been able to go to the judge and say, no, none of this shit is real. No, These no, 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 listen. Right. You said, listen to what I'm saying. You tell me. No, 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 I'll let you talk. I just want to know. Based <laughs> on what you say, Con, to, to go to the judge and say, hey, this is all entertainment. We didn't really shoot at them people. None of this shit that I'm being locked up for that you're trying to give me 40 or 50 years, none of that shit ever really happened. It's entertainment for the cameras, for social media. Did that shit work with the judge? Did the judge, did, did, did him say that he was entertaining somebody, stop people from getting, when, did he, you know, he didn't, when he sat on that jail, that cell, and you know, and another thing is, that man told on people that they have shit to do with it. 
Like, it was, he was saying, yo, Cardi B, you know Cardi B does this, and yeah, Jim Jones. Like, this man brought niggas that never even really talked to him in the streets. <laughs> never <laughs> seen like this. Listen, that, listen, that I, I agree with you. I agree with you. But this is the thing. Takashi ain't never denied that he was a snitch. He owned up to the fact that he was a snitch. He ain't denied. He okay. said, well, listen, listen. <laughs> you got my point. Carl, you got my point, right? So, right. I don't, I don't even talk about Takashi. I, I haven't, when he first came, I knew it, I knew he was going to do this when it first happened. And I, cause I, I, I've been in the streets. I know a real nigga. I knew he wasn't going to stand up. So cool. I said it. I said, I told you I left it alone. He came home. I didn't even respond. I was angry. The only time I respond, Akon, was when Nicki Minaj did a song with him. And then you let this man remake one of my favorite songs, stand a stand up nigga song, not not just any song. I I would I would have been mad at you because I I respect you on a different level. I see I seen you as one of me. You understand what I'm saying? It was like me seeing my homeboy walking around with Alpo, like a nigga that I fuck with in Harlem walking around with Alpo. I'm not I don't really give a fuck about Alpo. I said he a snitch. I'm done with him. I don't really care about him, and I'm not trying to run around. I'm. I'm not angry at you. You a snitch. You've been categorized as you are. Whether you move around, cool. Do that shit with the, the, the creeps. But listen to me. Let me finish. Let me finish. But when it's somebody that I respect, somebody that I've seen, like you said, you on the same shit that I am, you can't be on the same shit that I am because it's no way on God. I don't give a fuck how much money they offered me. I don't give a fuck how much entertainment they are. There's no way God's green earth that I would ever allow Takashi 69 to do anything with me. Anything, yeah. I wouldn't on him if he was on fire. Those are words from a street nigga, and I respect that, right? As a nigga, that wasn't real nigga. Listen no, to me, no. it's niggas that ain't in the streets that never no, been no. there, but they no, no. just no integrity. It's not about streets; it's integrity. No, no. The man lacks integrity. You see this? It's character's currency. The man lacks character. Listen, we follow the same code. I believe in character as currency. But I don't. Yo, listen to me at this but, point. But, but, I'm listening. Yeah, but I, wait, I we don't want to the same code. We, I'm not saying I'm not not to not to d d diminish you. We can't follow the same code because the code I live by, I can't do nothing with that man. All right, but that's fine. That's you. It's okay. But, hey, we don't, we don't follow the same code. I'm just trying to clarify that because it's no way I can't do nothing with it. My son, explain something to you. This code that everybody talk about that only maybe 1% of niggas out in the streets actually follow, don't mean shit to me. But I'm not a, oh, oh, is, you said that we follow oh. But let's, let's be clear though, let's be clear, let's be clear. All right. I grew up, yes, in fucked up situations, been through some fucked up, you know, you know, scenarios, might have might done some crimes here and there to, to survive and feed my family, but I'm not a street nigga, my nigga. Now, mm -hmm. I'm going to defend myself if a nigga try me a certain kind of way, but that's just me being a man defending myself. Defend. What people call street nigga and this code that's attached, it's all bullshit. What I'm trying to say is, as a man with real integrity, there's going to be things that you follow as a person. And I think when people start trying to categorize a street that and this, this is just what you categorize themselves in as far as what the environment they came from. So when you try to tag that on somebody that didn't come up like that or tag that on somebody that don't understand that until they're around people that do, it's not his fault for being misled. That's okay. all I'm trying to say. And, 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 and I hear what you're saying, right? This is, this is what I'm trying to say. You're saying that this code is, I'm no longer a street nigga either. I, I, I've been out the streets for years. I, 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 I did seven years in prison. I came home. I've changed my life around. I'm a, I'm a civil rights activist. I'm an anti-violence. I work with young kids in the street. And, and, and this, is a, this is another thing that I want you to understand. Not only is, is he a rat, he's just bad for the culture in general. Like, oh, so, introduction so to listen, the culture. So let me just say, let me just say. To the culture. Like, so, see, uh, uh, let me. Real quick, real quick, real quick. See, the introduction to the culture was wrong. He came in through the wrong side with the wrong information. And this is what all the generation is going through, bro. And guess what? He ain't going to be the first or the last. Can I say something? Can I say it's this one? It's easy to and people that understand what this is to give them that. Because half of them didn't have nobody to give them that. Come I on. came up with OGs that made understand how this shit works. 
Can Just I say? Can I say something? I just because you you cut me off. I, I I let you talk. You you don't let me get my so I just want to get two points of course, right? You right. saying that this this thing that's attached, this code that's attached to the streets. I I'm no longer streets. I have a code of ethics and integrity as a man. I have a right. moral compass as a man. My Absolutely. moral compass is if I do something, I want to be held accountable, and if, and I'm gonna deal with my. I'm gonna be accountable me as a man. That it has nothing to do with streets, and, and I know a bunch of people that has never done a street shit in their life, but that's how they live their life, right? So, right. what I, that's that's one, right? So, I, I, th to me, it's a code of conduct as a man that that man his moral compass does not agree with mine, right? So, what what I also want to say is when we was talking about you know. This man just came home from prison where he was facing a bunch of time. Mm -hmm. Was crying, said he took home to his family. He told on that. You did all of that shit, right? To come back with the same attitude. Your moral compass and what you represent totally goes against who I am as a man. Right. On the money, there's no amount of fame. I don't give a fuck how many streams you got. I don't want nothing to do with that individual as a man because my moral compass and my kids is watching me. I don't want this person around my kids. I don't want my wife. I don't want nobody that I respect and love to see me attach myself to somebody of that low caliber. Right. So it has nothing to do with street niggas. Right. So with that being said, you're right. His behavior today, it could be a little bit more sensitive. But he's defending himself from everybody attacking him too, bro. You got you to gotta understand that part. So it ain't just because he's doing all this because, I mean, he is being attacked and he ain't no punk. He going to fight back. But no, so, he is. See, that's what, he, yo, Carl, we, we confused the man the punk. He ain't going to fight back. Because if he was going to fight back, he would have fought the case. Con, he didn't fight the case. He ain't going to fight back. He but, didn't do fight you know, but, do you know all, but do you know all that was attached to this case, though? What? Tell me. Tell me what I'm missing. Did you know that this man was kidnapped by them same niggas that's supposed to protect him? Listen to me. No, no, these, these, this man that, was, that, that, nigga, they tried to kill this listen, man. Yeah, you know what I mean, niggas I know that was kidnapped in the streets? That's part of the streets. But, but what I'm saying is, you have, see, everything you're saying, I agree with you up until the point. There's a point where their street code don't exist. You street keep taking, oh, I already no. told you, I go well, by man code. Uh, this shit, that, Hey, there, there's a point. There's a point where loyalty no longer exists. If I'm listen, riding, if no, no, listen, listen, just understand me, right? And what I'm doing right now, just to be very clear, I'm playing the devil's advocate because nobody seems to want to have that conversation or the hard side of both sides for us to think it out, talk it through. Because if one person says something in, in, in defense or some somebody says something in, in credit of someone else, they naturally like my my integrity as a man, as a person. I don't need other people to validate who and what I am, right? But at the end of the day, if I see that there's unbalanced information, I may say some things you may not quite agree with, but that don't make it my character as a person and as a man. I'm just saying is, what if this situation or scenario ended this way and you was in it? Would you make the same decision knowing all the characteristics? I would listen to what I'm, let me explain now, since. Now, so let, now, Okay, no, say it, and then say it, then let me give you a scenario, and then you tell me if that's gonna be the same answer you give me. This right, I'm in the, I was in the streets, right? Mm -hmm. When I got locked up, I got locked up for a crime I didn't do. Right. But crimes, I probably got locked up, and I probably knew the person who did it. Right. But the reality of what comes with the streets, right, is the days that I got away for the shit that you know that I ran away and I got away, they probably locked somebody up for the same crime I did. Right? Somebody probably got, I, they got away. I got away a couple of times. They snatched the nigga the wrong. That comes with the street game, right? You can't right. profit off, you can't profit off a lifestyle and a reality. And then when it's time for the consequences, you don't want to deal with those consequences. And I agree with you. I agree. Man, and that's what I'm trying to tell you. So me, whatever came with me, I didn't, I didn't go and say, yo, this person did this. I took my time like a man. I went to trial. I knew what was going on. And I took my time and I sat down like a man. And I came at the peak of my career when I was about to be the fucking next biggest thing. I sat down and did my time like a man. Never blamed nobody. Never, never cried. I did what I was supposed to do because I understand that's what comes with this shit. 
Right, but you a street nigga. You understand that? Me a street? No, you know. Listen to no. me. Before, no, 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 no. Before the word street nigga came, con, it was just being a real nigga. I don't know no street nigga. Okay, I was just now, now. Now let me give you a scenario. You come up with a pack of niggas, right? Y'all all got this bond and this agreement. They try to hold each other down. One for all, all for one. That's the model. No matter what, nigga, you're gonna go off guns blazing. That's what it is. Okay. And it's just a general scenario. I don't wanna I don't wanna blame it Okay. Now y'all all together. Y'all agree amongst each other that we're gonna commit this crime. Mm hmm Y'all commit the crime. Yep. In the mix of committing crimes, you in the scenario are now betrayed by the same people you had bonds with. Okay. Try to kill you. Y'all all get caught. Now you're sitting in front of the jails. And the cops are asking you, listen, we've been following you. We know what's going on. And this is the situation. You got two options. You can save yourself from the guys that's trying to kill you. Yes. Or you can save the guys that's trying to kill you and eventually die anyway. Mm -hmm. Which do you gonna choose? I'm gonna choose that I the cops got to do their job, and I'm gonna fight my case. No, no. In this case, they already have all the information. That and then that means that they got to do their job. If they got the information, if they got the information, they don't need all that. See, they don't need me. Huh? They don't need me if they got the information. What they need me for? In this, in this case, right? Uh huh. They have and you even have the information. Because they didn't kidnap you and tried to kill you. Okay. Now, from a street nigga standpoint. No, from a real... I don't want to be a street nigga, Con. Uh, no, no, no. I'm, 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 from a real nigga standpoint. I, I, don't, I speak for real niggas. I don't speak for street niggas. I speak no. for real worldwide. No, I, listen. We, we understand that part. What I'm trying to tell you... I've never been to jail. They've never been in the streets. And they believe exactly what I believe. All right, and the reason why I ask that question uh -huh. is because the same code that we all follow always uh -huh. make, make that same decision you just made. But the part that people forget when they make that decision is mm -hmm. that they got a whole nother family that they alienate. No, the no, family, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, let me finish. The let me family, get to that. See that. The son that, that needs to be raised by him. The daughter that never wait, uh, grows up without a father. This is all the other things that happen that people do not think, take into account. They so worried about being a real nigga that the real responsibility should be the decision you make for your family. Mm -hmm. Not for them niggas. That's cool. Yeah. But your, family, your blood gotta be worth more than some shit that y'all just following of a code that nobody fucking follow. Okay, so can I ask you a question? Absolutely. So why, why didn't nobody think about their family until they were sitting in the room getting offered time? Because you was doing this. No, 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 listen to it. No, 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 listen. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Real right. niggas think about their family. The real niggas I know, they made a... No, no, listen to what I'm saying. I want you to get this. Well, no, no, no. Real niggas, do, real niggas do three times life in jail, my nigga. Oh, but, it does, my but, but real niggas... And, and, and that's good. You know, I, I know a bunch of real niggas that's doing three times life. I know some of them that came home, gave it back. But what I'm saying is, the real niggas did an act, right? And they made a conscious decision. I know what comes with this act. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna go to jail, and I'm gonna and I'm and I'm gonna try to live it up until those days come. And whatever comes with what I've done as a man, I'm gonna live with that. That's just being a man. So don't tell me about your kid. Don't tell me about. It's like a nigga. Carl, listen to me. Look, this is what happens. Carl, listen. And like so, and so when we talk about Takashi, he had to choose them or his family. He chose his family. No, no, that's not what he had to choose. He had to but, choose. Only choice he had in front of them. They was all gonna do double life. What I'm trying they're to explain to you. Kidnapped by the same nigga supposed to protect you and they trying to kill you? And you wouldn't make Can a I decision in the family? Explain to you is this, right? I've been I've been locked up. I know a lot of niggas in jail. Right. If you giving me information that I already got, you can't get out of jail in a year. All right? The information right. that you giving to the police has to be pertinent to this investigation for them to move it, forward. It's, it's, they're not asking you some shit that they already know about, eh? 
They asking you shit that only you can give information to to seal this case. So when wow. you say you're going to jail anyway, that's not that's not factual at all. That is no. a lie. No, but we're, that's that's not what we're debating here. That's obviously if they got you sitting there questioning you, they clearly got something to question you about because they got to have something to question you about. In this case, he's they got the evidence in front of him. It's sitting right there. But that's what I'm trying to tell you. If they got the evidence in front of them, then they don't need you. They're not giving. If a nigga telling you you gonna do 40 years, car, I've been in jail. I, look, I know a bunch of niggas. If the police come, if the, if, the, if, the, if the police, if the police come to you and they mm -hmm. saying you go 40 years, right? We already got all the information. We know all of this. You could do 40 years, or you could tell us and get one year in jail. You know what but that means? That's not what we're talking about here. What you're talking about? Hold on. There's two. Okay, that's 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 not what we're talking about. So what are you two, talking? Okay, what okay. you're talking about? Oh, that we came up under. I get that, nigga. We know what that oh, is. It's no, cool. no, is it, is it, you keep saying we came up under the niggas. Bro, the, this, this difference, that's, my nigga. There's a, a bunch difference. Of, nah, it's a bunch. Saying, listen, huh, it's a bunch. The of niggas, you live by the code. You keep saying we came up under. It's a code of ethics and manhood. It's not. It's not just us. It's a bunch of young niggas that still feel the same way. We. I'm not gonna allow. I'm not gonna allow. See, this what this is what my problem is with what you've been. But before you go there, even if you say there's an ethic of code of manhood, these young boys ain't have no man there to give them that. That's what I'm trying to tell you, Con, and that's why what you do. But that's why what you doing is dangerous because you're grown. No, no, what you, it ain't what you, dangerous. It's it is. No, no, no. You, what? what you? No, no, no. Nah. Place. nah, what you doing is that's dangerous. Bro, it, somebody you understand? Say, okay, first, bro. So you mean to tell me you talking you, to a guy? Hold you on, just hold on. So you mean you to just, tell me? No, you hold on. So you mean to tell me you're talk, hold on, hold on, real quick. So you mean to tell me you're talking to someone like six nine who has influence over a hundred million kids, right? And you yeah. see that there's a direction that could be corrected in him, and you won't take that direction to save a hundred million kids over a code? What do you mean? That's that's what the code is to save okay. the kids. So you, you, so you don't let hundred million kids go blind because you trying to follow a code. He already did that. What you? What I'm trying to listen. Let me explain something to you. Let me explain something to you. The, what you're doing is dangerous, right? Because not only did it's let me explain. Future generation, if I don't correct six nine today. Let me let me explain something to you, right? What you're doing is dangerous. It's like this. It's like with the OGs, the old the old gang banging niggas, right? That's in the hood giving niggas guns, right? They like, well, they gonna shoot anyway. They don't, I don't go by the same code that I live by. I'm just going to give them a gun because, hey, what they shooting anyway. You saying that you don't need to correct no. the action. You know it's again. What do you mean? That's what you're telling me, eh? you telling me that you don't need to correct the That's what you're Bro. saying. You, 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 you know, you know, listen to me. You know that this man went against everything that manhood represents for us. You know he did that. And you still not... No, but he. But the point is, he's not denying that he did it. It's one thing no. if he just, he's not denying that he did it. My he's, he's like him, it makes. Not only is he, no, he's, he's not him. denying it because he's trying to tell you that he, you're that, supposed to do it. He wouldn't have. He wouldn't have been caught up in that situation in the first place. Nah, and what I'm trying to prevent it. I'm trying to prevent it for future you, generations. Ben, with it. Ben, he's doing the same shit. Carl, he's doing the same. He he got the same mentality. You ain't preventing nothing. Oh, my son, you act like somebody that young is going to change overnight, my nigga. We got to have oh, in this night. generation. You listen to me. This to man had a... You can't uh, expect him to understand and feel and run the way you run overnight. He wasn't uh, built... Overnight. Like you. Oh, you him like that. Guess oh, what? Piece of God. work. Nobody's not going to deny that. That nigga's a piece of work and mad reckless. Yes, I know yeah. that. I can deal uh, with niggas like I've done with kids like him before. Son, that man went to jail and was facing almost 50 years in jail and should have been humbled. And that man came home on the same bullshit. The I same bullshit. Because he never had a role model, my nigga. He never had no OG next to him. Oh, he never he had no role model? He just, he, he just got out. Oh. And then, that man was in jail for a year, facing 40 years. Niggas wanted to kill him. He realized he wasn't built like this. He's, they still probably got money on his head right now. He got to right. walk around with federal agents that got bulletproof headgear on. Like, right. if, 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 that, if that don't change you, my nigga, you ain't going to change. Don't think you, you think he hasn't changed? You try to do something.
makes sense. But how, but how do you know he hasn't changed though? What did you see it? Did he has Nick, this, win him every day. I'm that, you, he's action, not, that man has done. He's done to change. What you're and, seeing is entertainment, bro. Well, it's not entertainment. You listen to what I'm trying to say. Yo, but Carl, today, let me. Carl, this, let me is what, this is what the world has come to now. It's online. It's social media. Everybody Instagram, like, nigga, you already know that half the lives that everybody show on IG is all and fake. Niggas is dying online, Carl. Niggas is getting shot in the head online. They shoot, niggas, these niggas yeah. is holding the camera while they shoot oh. you in the face. But that's so exactly. You, you just proved my point. If you just proved my point, though. You just proved my point. So if we don't stand in front of this, guess what? That shit don't continue. You're not standing in front of it. What you're doing is post. You post. You're co signing a rat, a nigga who has no moral compass. That's that what you do. You going on a tour. You going on a tour to. You're going on. You're going on a tour. You're going on a tour right now. You're going on a tour. I'm telling. I'm catching it. Okay. Of what had already happened. My conversation is healing him to the future. It ain't dealing with him with what he did in the past. We ain't gonna get nowhere by saying, "Oh, that was fucked up, you snitch." He knows that no, shit. No, but the thing is, no, no, no. But that's not what you're doing, Con. You're going on and you're explaining why he snitched and why it makes sense. Oh, you But I'm you're, saying, you're, you're, you went on, you went on, you went off at least three different platforms and said, "Oh, it don't matter. He did this. He's doing this. It don't matter. He, these people did this." And you try, you're trying to justify why that man snitched. You did Bro. it three. You try to give reasoning. You try to say it made sense for him to do it, and you try to say, "Oh, he needs." You know, we need to understand it's, it's a different game. And you're you're trying. You what you're doing is trying to make the public accept this as normal behavior, and that's not okay with me. You trying to normalize it. You trying to say eighty percent, eighty percent of niggas snitch. That 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 number right there is. But is, my son, I, I think I don't. I think eighty is a lot of niggas but, in jail. But that's I don't think beautiful. it's 80 percent. I don't that's, think it's 80. I know my, listen, and I, let me say something too. Another thing you said, I know a lot of kingpins. I, I, point. I know a For, bunch of kingpins, Carl. Uh, I'm not justifying anything. Whoa. No, no, listen. I'm not the kind of nigga that's gonna sit here and agree to everybody's decision or everybody's opinion. I'm the kind of nigga to challenge your 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 your, your position. Right now, 90% of the people, hold on, 90% of the people, when you talk about this Takashi situation. They all have the same reaction. Oh, that nigga's a snitch. That nigga's a snitch. And when I ask, hold on, no, it's true. Because he said it himself. He's not denying it. He even made a mascot saying, nigga, I'm a snitch. I'm a rat. So he's, he's accepted the fact that he's a rat, right? Now, what I'm trying to say is, how many people are going to challenge the position that he was in without being scrutinized to feel that they less street or less real? That's number one. I don't need nobody's validation for my realism of who I am as a person. This is what I stand for, and I'm gonna fight with it all the way to the end. Now, with him specifically, I know what he told me, and I know what I heard. And at the end of the day, like, oh, I know niggas on both sides. And I'm telling you right now, in a situation like that, he should have never been put there. That's all I'm saying. Well, and then, put it, there, uh, you, you, you keep put there, put his, in that position, period. That's the only thing to keep his ass in that situation. He's gonna Tell be in a he gonna be uh, reckless, fuck shit. That's what entertainers do. That's but not. Listen to me. Say something to you. Before I went to jail, right? Right. All the funny and murder niggas. These is my man. So all of them, you know, X and all of BMO, not Pistol because Pistol was already locked up. But the, the right. rest of the set murder niggas is from my hood. These was the niggas that I was with every day, and they right. was prepared to put in work every time. I didn't but go. What, what, this that's, is what, that's, that's my point right there. That's exactly my point. Why did the niggas around us got to be prepared to put in work but, when the niggas listen, around us are supposed to prevent the work from being put in in the first but, place? What I'm trying to tell you is this. They didn't, they never, we went everywhere, right? They never created no drama for me, right? Because I never created no drama for them. They was there to make, these were my niggas, they was, they was prepared for anything. When you look at Takashi 6 9 situation, that man picked beef with every nigga that was dangerous. Yeah, Every because he's thing. that's his character. He's a fucking villain. This is entertainment. He gonna get up to every skin that he can. That's the role he plays. How are you entertainment and you playing with a nigga that ain't playing? Son, you can't what? play with a nigga that ain't playing. I've never nigga this I ain't never been this entertained in my life. This is why I'm so close. 
shit is entertaining to me. No, this shit ain't entertaining. Yo, yo, listen to me. That man go, that man, that man, listen to me. Carl, standing next to that man, you can fuck around and lose your life. If I'm you not, walk, guess you, what? Walk, you might accidentally get a bullet or something that's meant for that man. Brother, that if, man, if, everybody if, in the world. My, my, listen he, got, he got, he got, he got, he's a, the man is a target. He's a target, right? He right. got beef that he don't even know, Con, that want to kill him. It's niggas that just want to be the nigga that said they did something to Takashi. But, uh, and then why? <laughs> but, but, my, but, but that's what I'm saying. What is the value in that? Just doing something to him? No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. What you still saying, Con, like, the bottom the line, it's not about his value. What I'm trying to tell you is if you can't pay. Hold on, prime example. The fact that he would even have beef with people he don't even know yet. Like, why would there be beef there if we don't even know each other? Your man said he went to jail. What's the like, entertainment I'm about <laughs> Yo, hey, Carl, did you go to jail? Was it entertaining when you was in jail? Hell no. That's what I'm trying to tell you. The nigga went to jail, and he yeah. put other niggas in jail. Hip-hop. Where's the entertainment, Con? Hip-hop was built on people going back and forth with each other. Kidnapped. He got kidnapped. Carl, they and fucked his girl. They was threatening to kill him. Where was the entertainment? His own crew tried to kill him. Don't forget that part. But you got to... So at what point, at what do point you, does the code apply? Can I ask you a question? Do you know what happened? Because I know I know a lot of different shit. So what happened with, with this, right? You say his whole crew tried to kill him. So what happens is this, right? I'm a street nigga, right? You bring me off the street. You know I got I got connections. You know niggas don't fuck with you because of me. So you run around. You use my strength. I'm out here. I got my niggas busted guns. We running up in here. We standing. We beefing with niggas that we actually know. Listen. Fuck with until all Let me. No. Niggas was fucking with him on a different so, level. Street niggas got around him. That's when all the problems began. Before nobody street, was fucking with him. Before niggas before the, come out. This, before the street niggas was surrounded by him, he was doing fine in the Latin world. Making fucking Latin but, music now. Bro, but, the man came up to one song he came out with that all the blood niggas was in. What Latin world he was in? Nigga, you knew something he did before he did the song with all the bloods. You knew a song about I never heard of him. So you don't know you don't know that Takashi does Latin music either? No, I'm just trying to tell you that's what I'm trying to tell you. We didn't care. Nobody gave a fuck about him doing Latin music, huh? Nigga, one of his biggest markets too. Like, see, that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is no. So you saying that? So listen, niggas surrounded him. So what I'm saying is, the problems are brought to the industry. The industry don't bring problems. You bring the problems to the industry. The people around you is supposed to shelter you from that shit. You know how many street niggas I was surrounded by, my nigga? That shit ain't come to me because they made sure that I was sheltered from that shit. Now, if it came directly to me, obviously I had to do what I had to do to defend myself. But the job was to keep that shit as far away from me as possible. Con, listen, Con. You get Con. You didn't. You didn't go out there trying to create beef. You didn't put. You knew you had real niggas, and you didn't because put that, people in jeopardy. Because that wasn't my image. But this is his image. Image? What are you talking? What, what the fuck is that an image yet? What are you talking about? It's, it's, that's some corny it's, shit. It's cloud, it's, cloud work. it's cloud work. It's shit. It ain't no image. What are you talking about? An image, bro. That's an image. Fifty that's cent live. Image. 50, the in the world, the man put his head on Chief Keith on the, in, in the street on camera on live. Like, yeah, but what image is that? Are you fucking kidding me? What I'm saying is that's today's hip hop. Unfortunately, no, that's what only him. It ain't no Social other nigga doing that. Social media it's, create. So guess who what? The other, who now, else is doing that, Carl? So now, if you and I or somebody like us don't step in front of it, I don't listen. If, if, if me stepping in front of Takashi right now to make sure I'm in his ear, hold on, if I me want to say, in front of let me let me wait, just say one thing, one thing, one thing, I'm gonna let you finish, please, please, please. Hold on, no, real, real, hold on, real, I promise you I'm gonna let you go. If me standing in front of Takashi to give him the knowledge that he has to have, and for whatever reason, I get hit with a stray, guess what? That's God's will. But I know I'm doing the right thing by making sure he gets the information he needs. Listen to That's me. Also, let me let me tell you how it looks, Carl. It looks right. like. No matter how it look, because no, but I want you, I, but I because want you to be. Because, because I don't want you. No, I hear what you. Say. Looks, I know that what I'm Can doing I? is for the will of Allah to make sure that He gets the information that He needs, because He ain't never been given that information. Okay. Can I tell you two things? Okay. If you if you try to be a mentor to him, right? Okay. Let's say you try to be a mentor. 
the first thing you're doing wrong is justifying what he already did. That's the I'm first not, thing. No, no, listen. Let me, let me all, tell you something. All I'm doing is, you sir, said, all I'm doing is, it's my turn. It's all my I'm turn. Doing is giving, I'm, all I'm doing is giving the challenging questions and answering the challenging remarks and nobody out here, for some reason, ain't got the heart to come out and say it. There's no, no, it's not that. It's all the real, all the so-called street niggas want to keep it real when they know at the end, they have these niggas if they was in that situation would did the fucking same thing. Con, what I'm trying to say is this. People just don't agree with you, Con. And it's we cool. Just, so this is what I'm trying to tell you. So it's not that niggas is not cute. They just don't agree. I'm just right. saying this. If you're being a mentor to them, you're doing a bad job. Because as a mentor, you're supposed to say, <laughs> you're doing a very bad job. I just want you to get that. Right because because <laughs> you're doing the same corny shit, right? He's so still, when you, when, you, when you go to Nipsey's block, because niggas say, because you saying niggas is dead and all this shit, and then you go to Nipsey's block, knowing Nip don't fuck with you, and you out there, you inviting real beef, because it's niggas that's going to kill, will kill about Nip. You know that. Me and you know as street niggas, they will kill about Nip. I agree. I agree. I, I, I agree. So, uh, now, so, we, so we understand no, that that's the We agree with a lot. My, you know, my nigga, we agree with so much. The only part we don't agree with. Uh, so let me tell you what my issue is. If we agree with a lot, right, that means that you made a decision that how the bag that he going to help you get is worth about, more. My you God, have I need money right now. No, I, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter. It's not that you need it. It's money. Do you, you think you, I'm... Let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Do you think, as dangerous as you say it is to be next to him, I would yeah. risk my own for money? So what are really? you doing it for, Tom? What are you doing it for? You're completely. I told you why I was doing this. For what? Okay. First of all, Takashi has a network of hundreds of millions of young generation kids of today. Okay. Half of them think just like him. Half of them ain't had nobody that can give them that information. So guess what? If they don't get the information, they're going to move completely lost. Now, mind you, I got kids his age. I got kids his age. They can't move in a society that thinks that everything that Takashi is doing is cool. Because it's not, my nigga. It's not cool. Right? These are conversations we have. But as I said again, you can't change nobody overnight. All you can do is influence him to change. Now, I won't know if all the work I'm putting in right now is going to be fruitful. But what I do know is I will spark a change in him that's going to be totally different from what everybody's seeing in the day. That's okay. for sure. So what I'm saying is this, and that's what I'm trying to say. If that's your goal, right, then going on every platform saying that Takashi snitched and a bunch of other niggas snitched, 80% of niggas snitched, justify the truth. Okay, but this is what I'm trying to say. So what would you say that? What are, what are you saying it to say? Are you saying it's okay? It's okay because 80% of the niggas... No, no, so what, what are you... Why do you bring it up? Why, why do you bring it up? Okay, I brought it up because uh -huh. that's a scenario that most people that's locked up has all been in. And they decided to choose their family over the cell. So, what, so, are you, so are you saying that it makes sense? Hey, if you decide you want to get into the street game or be active... Right? Yeah. Foot by yourself, my nigga. You don't, ain't real niggas gonna be running around doing capers with supporters. If that shit go down, you can't put your life in somebody else's hands. If you're gonna go there, you gotta have 100% foot in. You can't have half foot, uh, one foot in, one foot out. Nigga, you gotta go all the way. And you gotta accept everything that comes with it, including the, your co defendant or whoever you're rocking with to snitch on you. If you're gonna, boot, if you're gonna do it all the way in, you gotta do that shit by yourself. But if you don't have the courage to do it by yourself, you got to accept everything that come with it. You can't blame it on him because he told. That's your fault because you allowed that loose end to be there. And you know better than anybody in the street. Hold on, hold on. In the code, no, hold on. In the code, in the street, in the code that we live by, my nigga, if there's something that happens and the caper was killed and the caper was actually uh, done or there was a lick that we actually accepted, we ain't losing. We ain't leaving no loose ends, my nigga. It stops happening. We just not. Well, listen, we got to start. We got to start separating this because we've already we've already established that we don't live by the same code. We've already you you said that you said that because I would never do anything with Takashi. So the fact that you would with Takashi means we live by completely totally different codes. No, it just no that, that that's that's un, that's that's not that's not true. That just Why? means that we disagree about Takashi. 
No, it does not. It's a co listen to me. That's what it listen to me. That's the co about you, once you listen to me. The code I once you snitch, once you, know you are no, you are alienated. That's the code I live by. Once you snitch, you no longer in you are no longer into comfort. You, you probably out, hang, you right out this. You probably hanging around snitches right now. Don't even know. But that I know of. Once I'm aware that you a snitch, you can't be in my direct circle. I can't. I don't want nothing to do with you. Are you active right now? No. Are you committing any crimes? Not at all. Are you doing anything illegal? Nothing illegal. Not so one. So why does it matter if you got a snitch around you? Who gives a fuck, nigga? What are you going to tell? He going to tell, he gonna, he gonna tell on you? <laughs> he going to tell. <laughs> He, so let me, now, let me get now, now, so let me, now, now, hold on, hold on, me, hold on, now. Ask me a question, let me tell you. Now listen, if you're out of this game, but you're still hanging around people in the game, and you're super close to niggas active, and they decide to engage with him, that's their fault, because they already know that he's telling them. So why put yourself in that situation? These oh. niggas knew he wasn't built to, to, to withstand still or all that information. If they didn't, then they they they, they fail to do their due diligence on who they can felt I, they could do get around. Okay, so can I ask yeah. you a question? So and can I, this, you just, as a street nigga, your instincts will let you know off top if I can move a certain kind of way with certain kind of people. But real niggas ain't doing nobody. Ain't that, they're not utilizing nobody when they're doing something. They're going to do a body lonely, and you will never know it even happened. The day you decide to go find supporters, that's the day you're going to be locked up for life. Okay, so this is this is what I want to ask, right? If, right? If you snitch on somebody, right? That means that you that means you're steal from me. That means that you lie. You might do something to my wife. That means you're not a person that's trustworthy. It means that you don't you have a low moral caliber, right? I don't want that type of person around me at all. Because I know that I you're know. weak. I know I know that I know that given the opportunity yeah. that just having you in my circumference, your everything, weakness, your weakness could put my life and my family's life in jeopardy. But everything you just said, do with that because it's not about the streets; it's about your morality. You have a low morality, right? And that's a moral that's, comp. Yeah, we debating. That's fair. Now you said if a nigga was snitch, they're still from you, correct? Yep. His code of did that. Mm -hmm. They'll fuck your wife, yeah. Right? His co-defendant fucked his baby mama, mm -hmm. and you can't trust a nigga, right? Yeah, I don't want you around me. Let me finish. All three of the principles you just mentioned was done to Takashi, okay. right? On you, they didn't snitch though, but they did all the things that claimed was done to him. Yeah, and but right, hold on. Oh. So, with that being said, yeah. Where does this ethic of code lie? At what point does it have any kind of Listen to me. Let me, this is the simplest way I could say it, Colin. Right. Not, not for them. It's for you. It's no, your... I'm... Listen, I'm I... trying to tell you. So, when I, what I'm trying to tell you, if, when I don't snitch, right, mm -hmm. it's not because I have a loyalty to you. It's because I have integrity for me. It has but nothing to do with integrity, though. It does. No, no it... let me... Why I say that? Let me explain why I say that. It has me, everything to do with integrity. Why do I say that? And I don't mean in general. I'm talking about to someone like me and you. Why? Because we're no longer active. So who gives a fuck? But that when but I, you keep. Well, I, that's why I keep. I'm trying to explain to you. It's not about street shit. It's about these are man codes that I live. If it's not about street shit. Then what else could they be telling about? What else could they be snitching about? Trying to tell you, that's what I'm trying to explain to you. It's a man code that I live by. It has nothing to do with whether it's street. This just happened to be a street situation. You understand what I'm saying? If me and my man that go to work, right, and mm -hmm. he, he comes in late and he and he um punches in late, and the boss right. comes to me and say, Yo, who punched in late? I don't know nothing about that. Well, what do you mean? So, so me now, now, job. This so is now, a, a job, nigga. Me and my man. And, and they right. say, yo, one of y'all gonna get fired because I know one of y'all punched in late. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't know nothing about that. Right. You gotta find that out. That, I, I don't know. I, because that's just the morals that I have. I'm, it don't got nothing to do with gang or street. It's just a certain ethical code. It's, I need to know that people in my circumference have a level of morality. And my, right. integ my integrity needs to be attacked. My, right. my word, man, when people speak about me, see, for me, 
Character is currency. It's not just when I say this. I, my character is no. my currency. I've never been rich. Before we go into character, let me respond to the morale. Let me respond to you. Let me say one thing real quick. The reason why I survived, I've survived. Let me, let me, no, no, no. Now, the only the only moral code that I live by mm -hmm. is feed my family. The only thing moral about a man doing the right thing is making sure his family is safe, they're well fed, and they got a roof over their head. Nothing else matters. Period. So that's the moral compass, the manhood <laughs> morale that you're talking about. He said all activists... All of us are active, and most of our greatest leaders was taken down by agents, niggas that was weak. They wasn't. They wasn't in the street doing shit. They was taking. When you look at the shit with Fred Hampton, he was taking. It's niggas that be weak. It, these niggas are dangerous. It's because they they have a their moral fiber is fucked up. You talk no, about a nigga more, because it has nothing to do with morality. It's, 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 it has everything to do with the street. When you in the courtroom saying yeah, and and Cardi B. You in the courtroom saying Cardi B's the blood. Yeah, Cardi B, and she ain't got shit to do with the case, my nigga. You have no morality. What I, the fuck he got to do with your case? Listen, that part me and you already agreed to was wrong. We, I get that. Just, but what, listen, I, what I'm saying you, is... You keep saying the part. We agreed to all the parts was wrong. It's no part that we really don't agree was wrong. You just trying to give me a way that it makes sense. And none of the no, shit... No, 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 no. You can't make truth make sense. Truth is the truth. It's sense already. Right? That's so what you, I'm giving you, is the information that nobody's talking about. If you have to choose, it is about that choose, if you have to choose between your family and the niggas we that kidnap kill you, who would you choose? Forget the street code, all of that shit. Who would you choose? But that's what I'm trying to tell you. You chose your oh. family. Look, when you... If you gotta choose... Can you let me answer? Okay. And the people can you let me answer? You never let me, I was trying to, I been, huh, you, I, who would you choose? Huh, I've been trying to answer that question for an hour every time you say that, right? It shouldn't take you but two seconds to answer no, that. No, that no, no, because that's, that's you not, you because it's deeper than what you just saying, right? Listen to me. When a nigga, okay, listen, listen to me. So look, when a nigga go out, right, and he hustling, right, and he in the street, right, what'd he say? I was trying to feed my family, right? Right. Okay, so every time he get away from the law and he comes and he get that money, he profits off this shit trying to feed his family, right? You're trying to feed your family. So now, when it don't work out right, you got the same story, the same exact thing. It should still be feeding his family. It should never change, because guess what? The key word you just said... Oh, the key word, the key, if you were trying to feed your family, you would have you 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 picked a better way, because you no, understand... But that, that no, you know a jail, better way. Your family. No, the only thing that comes with peace is jail or prison. I mean, death. You no, can't I, make a decision that you're trying to feed your family, and then when you get caught, no, my nigga. You, if you was no, trying to feed your family, you would have got a different job. Get a different my, job. To make sure I, you I, own with. Because I tell you, niggas all the time, you when you're dead in prison, who gonna be feeding your family? You leading who me to my. But you leading me to my next point. You're 100 percent correct. If you're on the streets feeding your family, and then you take your profit. <laughs> To go back in the streets to feed your family. Well, while you're thinking you're feeding your family, you're actually putting your family in jeopardy. Because if your ass go to jail for years, who's there to feed your family? Nobody, right? It's so my point is, the streets should always be temporary. That's number one. Number two, at the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you fall into, what situation you go into, your only loyalty and advent should always go to who? Your family. That's it. Your family's your only responsibility as a man. I'm going to tell you some real so, shit. Let me tell you shit. My mother, my mother huh? don't respect the rat. If I went home, if I told on a nigga, right? If I told on my, yo, sure. Finish, because this is the part that I think everybody needs to get out of this whole conversation. At the end of the day, no matter what scenarios you get caught into, what situation or <laughs> penitentiary chances you're taking, it should only and always be only for your family. That's the only responsibility that a moral compass that should be lying to the man is making sure his family is safe and they're Peter. living. So what you, so what now, you need to do, right? let me tell you, what you need to do is get a job at Walmart. You need to get a job at Walmart. You need what? to work at FedEx. You need, to get a driver. you need to get signed up for the school test because the streets ain't for you. Bro. That's the fun. You can't, you can't be in that field talking about it for your family.
He knows the streets ain't for him. The world knows the streets ain't for him. Oh, this he tells you that the streets ain't for him. We know the streets ain't for him. So guess what? Yeah. Huh? But this one for you, Con. You you still <laughs> trying to? I don't think I, <laughs> the world knows this. What I'm trying to tell you is you should have did that before you told on them people, because those people was really in the streets. No, that's something that you anticipate before the action happens. He don't know the streets ain't for him until he gets in a situation. I, uh, what are you talking about? I knew. Listen to me. I knew. Oh, listen to me. What is this? You got teenagers out here, right? That's scamming. That's out here robbing. They don't know the consequence of that until they get caught. If they knew the consequence before they got caught or what it really is, they're not going to do it. They got to get hit or they got to feel that fire before they realize that shit is real hot. I'm going to tell you some real shit, right? Because I love you. Con, I love you. I'm, like, I, bro, listen, I really bro, love you, man, right? Like, bro, I love you. Bro, I appreciate you, Con. But you, bro, you listen, listen, Con, right now, you looking bro, crazy. Everybody, this, con, is why I got, listen, this is why I got on your platform so we can have this con, conversation. Con, I, you Con. Well, as to everything we're saying, the only piece that I think that you can work on you're is understanding, uh, understanding the knowledge that they crazy. Lack. And we got to give them that information, bro, because guess what? Takashi has too much influence for niggas not to, to give them that information. Somebody got to talk to you know better. You look, you looking crazy right now. Con. You're looking crazy the fact that you I'm, wouldn't do it. I'm just you, telling you, bro, she listen to me. I'm telling you as a, 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 I'm trying to tell you right now, to the, not just the streets, just to the whole hip hop culture. You right. looking, you look I, crazy. You co-signed. You, my, you listen, I don't mind looking crazy if it's gonna save you. That's happening. If you don't mind, it's cool. But I don't mind. Crazy. Cause my, cause my, my role in this is bigger than what. It's way. It's be. It's, it's it's kind of beyond the average mind of how they think. Me, I know what influence is, and I know how powerful influence can be. And if you give influence in the, in the hands of the wrong person with the wrong information, bro, everybody. But, you, you, but this is what I'm trying to say, your concept. Let me tell you something. You want to tell you what, what mentorship would have been? Mentorship would have been the man came home from prison, right? You don't, you don't give a nigga a song, right? That when he, mm -hmm. when he already don't even represent what that song represents. You sit the nigga down and say, let me talk to you. Let me talk, let me tell you what mentorship. You didn't be like, yo, you want this song from me? Right? You want to get on this song? Then your, your life got to reflect a certain way. You got to show some change. You got to mm -hmm. start having good conversations. Start going to these motherfucking detention centers and talking to these kids and telling them how to stay out of jail. I want right. you to get on every day and have real conversations and say, yo, I made a mistake. I thought I was this and I really wasn't. I want you, that's when, when you mentor a nigga. But you right. sitting there music to still talk the same dumb shit he talking about i'm a rat and this and that and antagonize a nigga and make it seem like you co-sign the bullshit you're not helping that man no no you but know? what I'm saying is your message don't help me do my job because guess what he has been on house arrest since he got out his <laughs> equal to go to the facility he's been on house arrest since he got out so what i'm saying is it's time and patience. It's gonna take time to get all. It's not the same guy that you think he is because you haven't spoke to him. You haven't been in the same room to have a one on one like me and you haven't. So the world doesn't know what's going on in his head. They just assuming according to all the context and comments that's on, on social media. And social media is fueling all of this because it's so much bigger than what y'all think this is. I'm telling you, this man influences hundreds of millions of kids, bro. He cannot go out and, there and make it seem like it's cool. I'm to tell you how dangerous you are because no one influences it. And you as a grown man that's supposed to live by a code and you co-signing this bullshit and they thinking this shit is cool that you could go in the streets and you could call hits and you could get niggas locked up and you could come home and say, fuck the world, I'm a rat. And I'm, and I'm going to be co-signed by a nigga who said I'm locked up that, that spoke for street niggas. And that's what you teaching them. You teaching no. these kids that, huh? You're doing a disservice to the culture, man. All right. You're doing a disservice. <laughs> Yo, I love you. you. My, son, my nigga. You my nigga. But this is what I try to tell you. See, one thing about leaders, they don't have the time to explain the bigger picture. My son, if you don't see the bigger picture in this, I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't. I see the, the picture that you paint is fuck. This is kids right what now because I'm, it's time. What I'm saying is this. I already anticipated all the backlash before I walked into this. I knew this was going to happen. Okay. I'm cool because guess what? 
When there's emotions that spark up, that means it's something worth talking about. When there's emotions that spark up, that means this is something that really means something to people. They really take this seriously, right? Which is great. And I needed to know, at the end of the day, how invested that we are in our own communities. Because when you have somebody like Six has that much influence in our younger generation with the mind state that he has right now and how he was taught to think that that's what that is and we just will let that slide and nobody corrects him and you saying but you're not bitch hold on and you hold on hold on hold on let me finish let me finish and you saying because he snitched he doesn't have the right to that information that he has to have it's crazy to me but Khan, you're not giving him yo you just empowering you ain't giving him information a lot of og niggas that you pull them to the have conversation. Six nine is already empowered. This motherfucker has over two hundred million fans. You don't empower somebody like that. He always has. He already has the yeah. power. All yeah, I'm Con trying to manage that power to make sure it goes in the right direction, my nigga. What you're saying is this is sad. Haven't you? You sound like these little young internet niggas now that make you believe that because you got two hundred niggas, thousand niggas, million niggas on Instagram that you somebody. You you really you you yeah. it, you confuse you, you confuse real life. life with Yo, you confusing no, real life. No, no, huh? You know, hey, information man. is more hey. powerful. You no, know. so I gotta make sure he's filled with the right information when he has oh. all that. Oh. You can't have that many people and feeding the wrong information. Going bad, I, you. you, I, you, you, you do that. I gotta oh. make sure it's the right information. It's empowering. Oh. No, no, it's more important. That shit's more important than what I'm building. Yeah. Because what I'm building is for tomorrow's generation. And I can't build what I'm building for tomorrow's generation to have the same mentality as Takashi as what he has today. We can't. He got, he we got can't. Can't. You just it's like it's like this, right? You gave you 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 committed yourself and you gave first of all, you disrespected Styles P. Whoa, 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 whoa. First well, of all, hold, hold on, hold on. You, 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 <laughs> violated, you violated Styles P. Hold you on, took bro. it. That he made a classic and put a rat on it, knowing right. how anti-ratty you you violated Styles P. So, so no, 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 I'm just I'm just being honest with you. I'm telling I'm great. You you want to get on? I want to have a real conversation. You violated Styles P. Completely. No. Okay. So first of all, locked up is a classic. Can't classic. nobody wreck it up. Period. That record made for those that you know that's like me, that's like you. That's for them. That can never be tainted or ever be disrespected because that's what we do. That's our life. That's what we experience and share, shared with the world, what we have to go through at that moment in time. Nobody can take that away from us. This generation is totally different. Clearly, he was, hold on, let me finish. Clearly, he was locked up. The reasons he, was, he went in and came out, yeah, we might disagree, but he still has the right to tell his story. But until you hear his verse and hear what he's dealing with, that's real shit from his point of view. He has a right to tell that point of view. Now, anybody could have jumped on Locked Up. I agree with you. There's a lot of other niggas that's been locked up that could have got on that record. But my nigga, that record has been, it's been 16 years since I put that first record out. Ain't nobody thought to remix that shit until Takashi decided to do it. What happened to all them other 16 years when that but, record was wide open for motherfucker to get on? Because and, nobody else, nobody, because they, because, now, cause, like, yo, you don't just remix classes. Niggas ain't going, you ain't going to go cold. Go go call go call Stevie Wonder and just say tell yo Takashi Six Nine. He gonna look and say that nigga ain't getting on no song of mine. You think I'm a you for you crazy? That you you you. This is what I'm trying to tell you. You did a disjust. You 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 doing justice to your legacy as as an artist and as a man. You doing a disjustice to your legacy right now. It's a disjustice. I'm not bro. Legacy, beloved, and you do too much good shit. You out here in Africa, you doing too much good shit to taint your legacy with this but, but, bullshit, Con. You, you first, of all, compare, first of all, you can't compare my social responsibilities to Six Nine. He's one yeah. of those social responsibilities that I'm dealing with right now. Because no, guess what? Not, like, 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 look, like, 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 you're just trying to get a bag off the nigga now. That's what it <laughs> sounds like. That's how that's what it is. You it don't sound like a social response. You talking about he got two hundred million fans and listen to what I'm trying to tell you. This song and he got this. It sounds like you just trying to get it bad. You don't. It don't sound like because if you was because right. if you had the responsibility, you would be having conversations with that nigga, make and making him do shit that was gonna move in a different direction. He ain't do nothing different. 
Man, everything happens at God's time. It ain't gonna happen when everybody wanted to happen. Everybody, listen, everybody ain't really do something. It would have had to happen after. It would have had to happen before you gave him that song. Cause everybody's different. The boy went through a lot, my nigga. He's being attacked by a girl of social media from the hip hop culture. That ain't something you get over overnight. Most of his time is spent defending himself from trolls, and you know that. He's so a I'm troll. You talk. How you gonna? The man is a <laughs> troll. How you gonna defend himself from himself? He created these trolls, man. He the nigga that started trolling. He created this whole culture of trolls. No, oh. listen. Oh. Listen. He listen started this. But listen, we're living in the age of social media. This is the world we live in right now, right? We can't just grab a microphone from a podium and speak and to a direct line. What we're about, what we're doing right now, clearly, by the end of this week, it's gonna be over a million views. So what we say is super, super important. And people have to understand that these views are parallel, even though everybody may disagree. On both sides, there's situations that people have to be able to take from a standpoint of understanding life and what it is to be a real man. The problem is everybody is living by all these rules that's supposed to make you seem cooler, uh, uh, be stronger, seem not to be a punk or no bitch ass nigga. But, but they you know, live by? they to make hard decisions that make everybody look at you differently, even though you know it's the right decision to make. And at the end of the day, you make decisions that's going to always keep you close and feed your family. At the end okay. of the day, that's and I, this is what I want to say, right? When niggas say feed your family, what about the niggas' family that you just gave 50 years to? Bro, he what tried to kill and kidnap them. What difference does it make to him? Question. What about, so listen to me. You, you, put, a, you put a hit out on Chief Keith, right? You could have took <laughs> Chief Keith's life. You yeah. got niggas shot. I'm asking you a question. What about the niggas' family who you got, you gave 40 or 50 years to? What about their family? Do they got a family? What about his kids? Of course. They all got family. But guess what? what? They so, so what does that mean? He didn't tell on you his family. He, 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 these niggas stood up and took their time like men. They thought about their family and you thought about yours. So you not willing because you weak. Listen to me. And then the symbol is because the nigga is too weak to deal with the consequences of his acts. It's not like when you say, yo, no, listen, John, no, listen, no, 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 no. Listen, you act like them niggas make you act like them you act like Takashi told them niggas to go do it, jump off a bridge, and you gonna jump off a bridge like a fucking idiot. Them niggas knew the consequences of their actions when they did it. They knew that. They knew that if, if, if I shoot at this nigga or I kill this man, I'ma leave my family forever and I won't be able to take care of him. They knew and, and, and they and, and listen to me and they did that. Listen you to what I'm saying. And they, it. and they did that, Con, right? What I'm trying to say is they was willing to take the acts for this. Nigga, you went into a fucking courtroom and they said, we saw you do this on camera. We got your voice doing this. We could give you this time for what you did. They didn't say we're going to give you this time because you're affiliated with that nigga and we think you did a crime that he did. No, he didn't do nothing for nobody else. He was too weak to deal God. with the consequences of his own acts as a man. And because he wasn't willing to deal with those consequences as a man, he told on other niggas so they could deal with those consequences. That man is a fucking clown. And you are a grown man, and you got too much, you have too much of a platform, and you too have too much of a voice, you have too much respect to enable shit like this. And what I'm trying to tell you is you can't give an entertainer responsibility of a street nigga when that's not where he's cut from. You just can't do that. No, you can't. It's not, he's not from you can't. So, so, you can't. Nigga, so, look at, so look, when you call a hit on a nigga, right, the nigga that he said, yo, go <laughs> shoot. Go shoot, talk. But that's that's internet bullshit internet talk. talk. They was internet gonna do it. That's, that's internet they, bullshit talk. To see who gonna be dumb enough to follow through on that shit? But and if you, niggas, they did shit, it to you, dumbass nigga for doing it. You, I, man, how you gonna how you gonna let a, a fucking nineteen year old rapper tell you to go kill somebody and you go do it? How kind of idiot can you be to do that shit? Pay your bills. That's the nigga that's got you in in, in the Bahamas. That's the nigga that got you everywhere. So okay, you, guess what? Your bills being paid while you're with him on salary every fucking week. Okay. Now you gotta okay. kill somebody with your own money? Yeah, because he, could, yeah, because that's nigga, he told you to get the money. He said, I got 30,000 on nigga head. This, this is your, okay. your, okay. your kill. I, I got 30. So, so he went on and said, I got 30,000 on nigga head. And, on, and just out of clear blue, the people around him decided they gonna go do it. They just let somebody out there. Them, they just no. they felt like that was to them. Come on. I'm just Come saying. On. 
What so dumb let me, you know? Listen, you know what? And say, Carl, I got you're cool. Carl, I'm, listen to me. I've been broadcasted on the internet. Okay, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to do this, right? Because we've been doing it for an hour and a half. We're not going to change our positions. I'm, it's sad that you're not going to change your position. It's very sad. Because I know, no, no. I know, I know. Be good. What this did, it allowed both sides to have a conversation. I'm not saying that you for what I say or I'm for what you say. But there's, if this, it's always going to be mixed opinions. No one's ever going to all agree on it. But it's important for us to have conversations but on all the hard topics. The concern shit is universal. Being a coward, having integrity, having moral confidence, it's certain shit that's universal for me. It's not, it's not, it's a no, it's a stop somewhere. You know what I'm saying? This generation ain't built like you, my son. You can't accept them to. No, because my son, look, my son is on here at 22 years old and he mm -hmm. built like me because I raised him like me. My nephews and my ah, brother. Damn, you was there to raise him. These no, niggas no, ain't No, 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 I wasn't there to raise him. First eight years of my life, I was in jail. So they, they, they lived off the way that I carried myself. It wasn't right. that. I, I carried myself as a man. I said, this is what men do. So right. when you're when you, when you having a conversation with this young boy and you and you getting on here and he see you arguing, giving reasons why he told on a nigga, you are uh, making him that you agree with the behavior and you're doing him a disservice, Con. Huh? And about him telling. Him telling was the result of actions that wasn't taken. What my conversation is, everybody... <laughs> what led up to him telling in the first place. No, and, boring. No. no Cause that's the key right now. The key is the converse is all the things that happened that led him up to the point where he even had to tell in the first place. And if he was being got right, he would have never gotten to that position where he even had to be in front of a judge. That's what I'm saying. Con, this is bad. I'm just trying to tell you this is this guess this what? Guess what? And I and guess what? All my niggas can vouch to it. I would never put them in a position where they got to go and tell on me, bro. Ever. But Con, you don't. What do you what? mean? But you the nigga that's in control, though, Con. You no, see, I'm like a, I'm, you, I'm in you, control. You, you, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. You the Takashi of this situation, so you you the one that put them in jeopardy. No, you can't control another man's action, but you can't control what you say to that man. Now, whether or not he decides to take your advice or live under the order of how you give it, you know, advice to him. That's you just you know pray that God give him the ear and understanding to take that advice right. But uh, you can't do another man's actions, bro. You don't go crazy trying because it's impossible. So saying, right. So what I'm gonna say is this, right? As a man, for me, you know, Takashi is 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 a no go for me because he, we just have different moral compasses. And even after he returned to society, his he ha he has the same energy, same mentality, everything. So what right, I want to what I want to say is this, right? I'm glad we had this dialogue. It's I'm sad. It's it's kind of sad, right? Because you had an opportunity, right? And you still no, have. A... No, no, no. I'm... Let me first, say. First but you didn't hear. Hey, you not listen. What I... you not... you didn't hear what I said. You stopped me mid sentence. Let me tell. We leave, we leave Let me. This... Hey, and then you can finish. I'm just going to say the last words. <laughs> you thinking that it's sad that I took this position? That means you ain't hear nothing I said. Okay, so no, that it doesn't. It means that it could, or it means that I heard everything you said, and I still think it's sad. So let me let me finish what I'm saying. So, so I I'm glad I'm sad that you took the position as where well, you had the opportunity, and you still have the opportunity to actually give this man some level of understanding of how life works, right? And mm -hmm. you do not reward somebody for doing bad acts, right? So right. when when man came to you and wanted to do a locked up song of something that represented so much to people, something that is a classic song, and he came out and he just told on a bunch of niggas. And even yeah. if you want to help him, what you should have did is said, look, let's have a conversation. For me to give you this song, we got to sit down. I got to see you move in a different way. I got to see you change things about your attitude because you can't represent this song moving in the manner in which you move. You had the opportunity to do it. But you you left that opportunity because he was able to buy a song from you and just put it on his album. You don't have you no longer have the opportunity all, because you no longer you don't have the opportunity at this point. I, I can agree with your point. First of all, I didn't charge him anything. It was free. Why? This is bigger than a song to me. That's number one. Number two, my job in life is to create platforms for people to speak freely. Give them the opportunity that we never had as a people. I can't, because I disagree with his methods and thoughts, tell him he don't have the right to be on that song. 
Anybody can call me about that song and I will give them the clearance. I don't care who you are, what you've done. This is the time for you to now to give, it's your shot. Not, this ain't my chance to prove myself. This is his chance to prove himself to the world. All I gave him was the platform to do so. Now, you may say, okay, you know what? I don't agree with how he's trying to convince me that he's changed. Guess what? That's something he's, he's going to have to figure out a way to convince you. My job ain't to make you convince. I'm not here to make you convince you. Not here to justify his actions or why he's doing what he's doing. I'm just here. That's why we, because you've been trying to justify it. God, the only reason we're here is because you've been trying to justify it. I no, wouldn't even have to no, with you. Not justification. What I'm saying is everybody's speaking on one part of the matter when this is a bigger picture. This is bigger than just snitching. This is beyond that shit. But what is what is it? Nigga, listen, at the end of the day, how is it? Keep allowing ourselves to be in the same situation. And ain't nobody stepping up to prevent us from getting in front of the judge in the first place? But how are you doing that now, though, Carl? What, what are you doing? That stuff? What is he doing? Nigga, all I can do is try to influence him to become. How, Carl? You, you, listen to me. You, listen you walk in LA with him. With, listen to me. You walk in the LA blocks with him when he, when niggas in LA don't fuck with him at all. He know they don't fuck with him. So you're not, you're not, you empowering them, Con. You're not, a nigga might not want to hurt you. A nigga might feel like, oh, he was Con, so, you know, I'm not going to say nothing because I respect Con. You this empower the, part you see off camera, though. Let me see, let me, let me explain to you the part that you didn't see off camera. One of them is that he had to see that. This is stuff, this is reality. And my conversation to him is, every action you make is what creates this reaction. He need to physically see that instead of just seeing it on his social media feed. He need to experience that in real life. That's one of the reasons why. Num and number two, the part that y'all missed that y'all didn't see on camera is me on the corner talking about 50 street niggas having a real conversation the way me and you had a real conversation. Yeah, but they still, you didn't change their mind. No, they I don't change their mind. So, I uh, only, you, 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 I only uh, uh, give you the information. How uh, you uh, information. Uh, uh, niggas know you Ooh. can't you uh, there's no conversation that you're gonna have with a street nigga about this and make them feel like Takashi did right. It's never gonna happen. Because I'm not here to make them feel that. Like. I'm not here to make them what, feel like. What is the I'm conversation not, what are you having the conversation about? I'm not here as a Takashi advocate. I'm not trying to make them feel that. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's no way that this cycle continues and we can constantly allow the niggas that we know got a chance in life to become something eventually from day one. And we ride them all the way through this path right here. The same way them niggas could have protected him, they controlled him now. They could have easily said, yo, bruh, cut that shit out, my nigga. All that shit with this and that, bruh, you continue that, you got a problem with me now. He would have listened to that. But they was egging him on to continue it because they love that shit. Trust me, I know uh -huh. them. But Khan, you saying that, but Khan, but Khan, listen, what I'm trying to say is this. And you, I hear what you're saying, right? But I knew of these guys, all of these dudes before, and they were street niggas, but they right. wasn't, they was active. Most of them was active niggas that was in the right. street, but they were allowed, the shit that he doing, he's still doing it now, without them. But he, listen, but he, but he, he, is, he that only, he, 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 like that. that was him, he'd been a cloud chaser. That's how he built his whole life, cloud chasing and trolling, that's who he, but he was. Exactly, that's his image. And he, guess what? When he was doing it back then, and it was working, he had niggas protecting him and allowing him to keep doing it. So now in his mind, oh, this shit actually really works. That's his system now. So guess what? Even when these niggas ain't out there, he's already been groomed to flow like that because that's how he was taught to bring the game up for him. So, Yo, come on, you got every reason. No, you, no, I'm just, no, listen, no, you no, just no, no. Bullshit, this man do. You don't hear yourself. Doing right now, everything that you give me a, a, a question to, I'm giving you the optic of it. And most people, most people have a scenario or a logic in their mind, but they never exercise the opposite side of that logic. And that's the reason. That's the reason why we always always have always lack information, and we never get to the finish line because the tough side of that conversation, nobody never wants to have. So if you give me a logic, it's my job to challenge you. And guess what? I might be right or, my, or I might be wrong. But at well, the end of the day, we have a conversation to talk about. You, 
Huh, there was there was no way, right, that you was gonna get on this live and convince anybody that it I made sense. I'm not here to convince nobody. There was, no, the there, was no, there was no way she was gonna every, give. Everybody. Every, the reason why I'm here is because every time I go on social media, everybody talk about only that one thing, and it's such a bigger picture. And my thing is to throw shit out there so people understand that it's bigger than just snitching. But it's, it's not what, though. It's, really, it's actually the man told. It's not. It's nothing bigger than that. He told. It's nothing bigger. This this is way bigger than snitching. No, it's not. It's okay. actually that. He says, if it wasn't bigger than snitching, you wouldn't have been so emotional about it. Because you've been no, around snitching. You understand what that is? You know what that means to you as a I'm emotional. I'm emotional about it because, listen to me, this is the first time, right, to where a snitch has been given a platform, right, and he's attached himself to people that we actually thought were honorable, right, that we perceived. This is the first, first time in history. This is the first time in history that a, flat, a snitch has come home Two minutes after telling on niggas, getting them 40 and 30 and 20 years, and did songs and attached themselves to people that we respected as honorable. This is the, that's never happened before, but, ever. So now, this is where it gets sticky again, because I got to challenge you again. So okay. If you, so, so, if, so if a man trying to kill you and kidnap you, that's supposed you, to be holding you, you call that. It, is you're that trying to justify You see what happened? You're trying to justify it again, no. Carl. You're about to give me a reason why it happened. No, you listen, still, bro. If we don't agree. Don't make a justification. I'm just is. giving you. I, but, give but, me a reason. Right justification. Now, giving me reasoning. Just, you know. You know what, what justification is, Con? Justification. Asking, but you still. But you notice. But you do notice that every question I ever asked you didn't answer. But I did answer it. I okay. already told. You. Okay. okay. So what is your answer? If, I'm not if, telling. My answer is plain and simple. I'm not telling. That was not the question. The question so wasn't. The question wasn't, what would you do? The okay. question, if you got niggas that's supposed to hold you down, that tried to kill you, or kid and kidnap you, is that honorable? That's yes or no. Is that honorable? What do you mean? It's in the streets. It's not about uh, the honorable. What? Listen to me. In if the streets. hold you down, tried to kill you and kidnap you, is that honorable? Do you know? OK, so can I, can I give you an actual question? My questions. Can I can I tell you because you 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 you're trying to simplify something, right? No, because no, no. you said it was simple. I told you that it was a bigger picture. No, you so can I say something? Can I say something? I broke it down simply for you. No, you and didn't I, because, because this, if I just go and say, "Yo, a nigga tried to do this to that." What you do? You not say, "Okay, what?" So let me explain. Okay, let me tell you, I'm gonna let's get. Let me the picture. Let's take Takashi out the picture. If you got niggas right now that you paying to hold you down, but they uh -huh. trying to. Would kidnap you, do you call that honorable? It depends on the situation. <laughs> yeah, because you don't want to listen. It's not about honor. Because this okay, let me because, change the question. Let me, change the let me no, let, because you're not you're not you you trying to box me into a simple it's not as simple as that. No, you're my job into a simple you. thing. My job because, is to challenge you with the way and because, mentality of how I mean, we are today. listening. Can I ask you a question? Uh-huh. If 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 I'm paying niggas, right? To hold me down, right. right? And I'm causing beef with niggas all over the world. No, listen, just listen. I want you to get. It. I want you to get. It, to get it real clear. Just, but just listen. You. Carl, you're not listening. Carl, no, you're not listening. no, because you keep. You made your point super clear. Believe me. No, no, no. What I was asking because you. Because I want. No, no. You asking me. Listen, just listen to what I'm saying. Just, just think listen. about how I deal with scenarios. That's what I'm trying to accomplish. You're not, you're not giving a scenario. You're giving me one situation. You're not. No, no, but, hey, my son, look, what I'm trying let, to accomplish. Right? Let me. Let me. What I'm trying to accomplish here is for us to open our minds and think different than how we think today. No, I'm just, I just want to be very clear. We, the no, no, real quick, real quick, because this is an exercise that we have to we have to do. Now, at the end of the day, we feel the way we felt. Things happen. If some people agree. Some people don't agree. Everybody would have dealt with it differently. We all agree to that. The point why we always mixed up is because we never use real logic on what we will really do because we're afraid what other people are going to think about us. Right now, if you was to answer that question, yes or no, you are afraid that street niggas are going to think that you might be tripping. Oh, listen to me. You, you, listen, you listen to you, me. I never lived my life by what no nigga thought of me, Carl. You might I say, what I think of me. And twist what I'm trying to really say. 
at the end of the day, the problem with people is we think too much about what other people think we might say. When we all know on this call that the logic answer to that is if a motherfucker that you're paying is supposed to protect you, they tried to kill you and kidnap you, we all know that is not honorable. Okay, can we I ask you? Common sense, but you won't say it though. Yo, can I? Ex I just <laughs> want to say quick, right? And in, in, in those contexts, what you're saying is not honorable, right? If, I, if, if I'm doing right by my right? right, and they work for me, and I'm doing right by them, and they try to kidnap me and kill me, it's not honorable. But if I'm doing, if I got my people around me, I'm putting up, so listen, so let me, no, no, let me talk. Let me, I heard what you said. I answered your question, but, but, right? But no, listen, but, I want you to get this. No, listen to me, listen to me. So this is real simple. If I got my people around me, right, and they supposed to protect me, and I got them in a bunch of beef with every nigga around the world, then niggas start telling me, yo, you got to separate yourself from them in order for me to come to music. You can't go with these niggas nowhere. The label saying, I don't want these niggas around. You got to stay away from them to do this. Now, you separating yourself from me. After you got me with beef with a million niggas in the world, you had me doing about to do hits. The fans is looking at all of us, and now you want to separate from me. Right? So what happens is now you become a liability to my life. No, no, now, because you know too much information. You can tell on me, right? And you, you put me on doja missions. You separate yourself from me. We can't get no money no more because now you don't separate yourself from half of us. If you listen to the calls, them niggas like, yo, this nigga on some bullshit. Listen to the calls. Did you hear the calls? He on some bullshit. Nigga talking about we can't be around. The label saying we don't want none of them niggas around no more. But these are the same niggas that you had in the streets shooting and ready to kill niggas that was taking penitentiary chances for them. But now you separate yourself from me. Now you become a liability. So in the streets, when, when you separate yourself from me and I know you know information, we're not getting no money with you, then what happens is you did bad. So everybody is doing bad now. Everybody just, doing bad. What? If, 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 the, if the label obviously see that that right there is a threat and they see that that's a liability and they say, listen, man, your homies around you are causing a lot of traffic around us and it's not good. We need you to separate yourself because it's not good for business. His homies off top that's supposed to be protecting them should have said, damn, shit is too hot. Yo, we got to step back. That shit fucking up everybody's money. That's all that should have happened. No, nope, that's not what the niggas start, nigga went on, start going on. Yeah, because niggas... they're not realizing that also feeds them. So if y'all niggas is if y'all niggas is creating an uncomfortable environment for the business, no, but he created he you, created the environment. And, That's what I'm trying to tell you. Yo, as a human man, you would say, you know what? Let's guys, we're creating more problems than we're supposed to. Let's all step back for a minute. Created, yo, the problem is he created the problems. That's what that's what niggas is confused. Right. Like you, so you, then you allow we ain't beefing with niggas. See, what are you uh, talking? Uh, and you but listen, I'm not doubting that part. Six nine is mad reckless. I know that's he's like my little brother. I know that nigga reckless. That nigga loud with his mouth. He reckless. It make you want to goddamn knock him out. That's cool. We all know niggas like that, but that still don't give him that much power to say something like go kill a nigga for thirty grand and somebody go fucking do it. He ain't they God. Did, they did though, Con. They, they they was willing to do it because he had that much power to them. But but, but like who? And the fact that they are now the fact that we know that him saying that triggered someone that would might even go do it is more of a reason. Hold on, it's more of a reason. And you, go get you just proved my point with the, the influence that he has on people. You just yeah. proved my influence that he has on people. And when you got thousand got influence over people that don't got nothing. If a nigga say 30,000 in the hood right now, they going to shoot you. If I say 30,000, niggas is coming to your house and they knocking on the door, Carl. They don't give a fuck. Yeah, but the odds of it happening is when you got over 200 million fans, my nigga. Somebody in the hood may only have like 10 people on their Instagram. This nigga got over 200 million. So what I'm saying is, so what I'm saying is the odds are greater. So guess what? That's more of a reason why I need to be closer to him to give him the information he needs. So we don't get caught up in Con, that shit. Is this, Con? You did bad. This, God That's, bless you. I, listen, I, I, I put, it way, put it this way. We go back to moral compass again. T or Danny, we all call him Danny. He's family at this point, right? So if I, like I told you, I know that what I'm doing is God's will. He has to get this information. 
It's impossible that he don't get this information. It's super imperative that I need to see that he get this information. I'm willing to risk what I got to risk to make sure he gets that information because I know the impacts of it if he doesn't. That's God all. Bless. Listen to me. He'll be finished in the, he'll be finished in about six months and but he won't have to do it. Had that before he came out and broke records. What I'm saying is only God decides that, bro. We're not here Listen, to judge. We're not here to judge people at all. We've seen a million six nines come and go. You've been right. in this industry. So, when you, but, so understanding, but, understanding but, that and, and, and putting all of this into it, the man is not super talented. He don't got an excellent voice that nobody can sing like. He don't rap better than everybody you know it's a time for him. he he has a time a period in in hip-hop that's very gonna close immediately you know that you around you know what this shit is he don't have he don't have no super talented nigga that you like yo this man is so talented i gotta protect him you it's half the shit he talk about nobody gives a fuck you don't even know why he hot well that's his whole generation my son you know that shit not you got niggas like Lil Baby, you got niggas like Baby, you got niggas like Rowdy Rich, you got niggas that actually have talent, like A Boogie. It's young niggas that got talent that you can see be here for 10, 15 years. You know this country shit is built off a troll, some shit that happened on the internet. And, and you play it's sad, Con. Con, I, I gotta go. I, I appreciate I the right? right. Right. So before I, let me just in closing, I don't disagree. You're 100 percent correct. The only difference between six nine and everybody that you named is that six nine influences more kids than they do. That's and not true, at all. bro. It says That's it all. True. I don't and see no nobody. Who you see wearing rainbow hair? Show me the niggas with rainbow hair. Let's not argue about that. Because where's the rainbow hair? Where they at? I don't bro, let's not argue about that. If, if he did, if he did, if he didn't know me and you wouldn't be talking right now. He influenced. Oh. Where you, you, like it's emotional. So what I'm saying is this, right? Niggas but, with the no, rain hair. No, no, Where's the No, no. Listen, it's okay. What I'm saying is, God chooses those who He runs information through, and He chooses who He gonna make hot, who He gonna make not. The world may not understand why Six is getting this wave right now, but God understands that. And I, I know get, the reason why I'm standing next to Him and backing it because I know it's a hey, it's way bigger. <laughs> then you see it to be. Because you're not thinking global. You're not even thinking generations ahead. Is that generate that man, I'm not, that man, I can't see him be here for months. Like, but that's the, you. Like, oh, generation. That's, like, no, who is, that's you, though. This, but, you're listening, uh, you know what, you, know, you, you, you're an artist, right? And you know what makes you gener generations ahead. You say shit that touches somebody. Right. Six, never said a word that anybody remembers. I don't know no nigga that I could go to and say, yo, tell me a bar that 6 9 said. Tell me a song, a name of a song. But one thing they did remember was all the words he said against his co-defendants, though. They remember them shit. So you, 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 you were the nigga that's famous for snitching. I got to go, Carl. I told you. I'm Carl. That's it. You just, you, you. This okay. is it. I'm done. I'm done. Listen to me. Carl, I got to okay. talk to you later, Carl. I don't want to okay. hang up on you. But I appreciate you. I got shit to do. Breonna Taylor's. I got to make sure her killers get arrested, man. Go, oh, hey, I, go. Uh, oh, hit me up and let me know what's going on with that. Yes, sir, man. We need, we need you to. We might. What you doing this weekend, man? Come out here this weekend and tell these people to arrest them, man. I'm gonna hit you later, man. God bless you, man. <laughs> now I, 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 work out. I appreciate the back and forth. It was. I think it was very healthy. It was necessary. I work out for you, brother. I hope what you're doing. I hope this experiment that you're doing with the rat. I hope it works out, man. But God bless you. Oh, inshallah, I will. <laughs> My man. <laughs> God bless Akon. Y'all pray for him, man. I don't know what happened to Akon, but that ain't the same Akon we know, man. Y'all go and pray for him, man. Y'all seen that conversation? I I'm completely lost. I, I think he's a good dude. I just think something happened to him along the way, man. But um, I'm in Kentucky, and we're about to do this Breonna Taylor um, meeting. Um, if you in Kentucky anywhere, August 25th, come out. We're doing a big march, a major march on behalf of her. So I appreciate y'all, man. Go to go to Akon page and tell him that he did bad. Let him know. Everybody should write under there, you did bad. You did real bad. Appreciate y'all, though. Thanks for tuning in. God bless you. Good night.